OK, we're back at Meadowbank. Uh, and what an occasion we've got this afternoon. Wanderers' first home game live on TNT Sports this afternoon. Um, joined by Wanderers manager Mark White, ahead of kick-off against Barnet. Uh, Mark, just a word on the occasion first and foremost. Yeah. Oh, it, 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 bottom line is it's, it's fantastic for the town. It's, it's great for the club. Um, obviously, all the hard-working volunteers we've got, not just now, but in the last 23 years, you know, you know, there's so many people that, you know, no longer involved in the club or no longer here that, you know, gave everything for the club to, and I don't think they, in their wildest dreams they would have thought would be billed after the Tottenham game on BT Sports, you know, it's, uh, so you have, listen, you'd be, you have to stand still and look at that, it's such an accomplishment and um, it's, um, Great for the town and just great for everybody, really. I mean, the players will just treat it like another game, I'm pretty confident. Um, I will the minute the whistle goes. And, uh, yeah, it's fantastic, mate. And, um, you know, the the town's captured and the club has captured the uh, interest of so many. Um, and we just look to keep moving forward. Yeah, fantastic occasion today. And we'll hopefully be back by really good support as well this afternoon. Um, in terms of how we're looking, Mark, we're obviously coming off the back of the 1-0 defeat to Kidderminster on Tuesday. Looking to bounce back from that. And a couple of changes to the starting lineup. Uh, I understand this afternoon. We've got Isaac Philpott and Harry Ottaway in from the start. Yeah, that's it. I mean, look, we are, um, I guess you could say it's an injury crisis. It has to be, doesn't it? You know, Seb Bauman had an operation yesterday. Uh, you know, a half-decent operation, a four-week recovery. McShane's another three, four weeks. Um, Briggs uh, is not here today. Um, he, he's, he's not quite made it. Tony Craig, the same. I mean, look, we, uh, we lose track of them. I think it's about nine in total. Um, very difficult to cope. I think in my mind, in my mind, I'm looking forward to the two weeks without a league game. I think, you know, if you get a win today and then take that into a two-week break, I know the FA Cup game is going to be vitally important next week, of course, but two weeks off from the league gives us a really good chance. Time in between is the key, isn't it? Massive. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah I mean, we, I mean, look, we won't be the only team, by the way. They, they, a lot of these players will be um, definitely uh, of all all around the league. There'll be people feeling it. The Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Don't quite know why there were so many back to back. Seems a bit, but listen, there's normally good reason for this stuff. But yeah, so look, we're looking forward to the break. Um, and yeah, it's one of those really. Uh, we know we can do the business. We know we can. We've seen this year some great performances. Will the bodies hold out today? The bench, the bench is like a chocolate teapot. I can assure you that now. It's, worth it's, worth it's, noting we've got Barry Fulham Morrow on the bench today, but I, I suspect that's really that is going to be one of those where it's all about managing the minutes. They've done ha they've done half an hour yeah. training in in six weeks. Yeah, they're not ready to come on. So, so realistically, you'll have Alex Langspear up, you know, up front or something, you know, or, or on the wing. That we we don't have we don't have changes. We didn't the other night. So I just want to make sure we get through that first half in particular, and then you know, Kjordi and Seager in particular the two boys that you know that are fully fit and can do a job but that's where it start and ends really do you know what i mean and in terms of the opposition today mark it's a side with a fantastic track record against over recent seasons um but expecting nothing less than a very tough contest this afternoon they're obviously flying high in the league at the moment just a word on barnet and, and the manager dean brennan of course who we know well from our battles with wellstone and barnet over the years yeah i mean he's just um I, I, last season or the season before, I might have called him underrated. Do you know what I mean? But but not anymore. I think he, he's rated, isn't he? I mean, it's but Barnet, the management position was like almost a poison chalice, um, and um, he's come in there and on low resources. You know, their, their resources are not incredible, um, and um, he's done such a good job, hasn't he? I mean, what a great job! And uh, this year he's had a great start. Knows how to build a football team, knows how to play. And, I, and I, I watch and I learn from what other managers do. Obviously, we've got our own strengths, but there's a lot of strengths others have got. And you look at how they set their teams up, how they play, and you think, yeah, do you know what? Um, and there's some real common themes like the Barnets, the Wokins, and just certain things they do, you know? So, yeah, mate, listen, I want us to hopefully we can bring the heat, mate. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, we're going we're gonna to really make them earn this win we're not gonna you might see a you might see a slightly different style today you know what I mean because we know we've got to try and pin, pinpoint weaknesses and there's not that many 
That's it. Thank you for your time, Mark. Much appreciated. Just one final thing to add. We had news just come in that Alfie Rutherford's actually scored for Bognor. No uh, way. Off the bench this afternoon. So, Has he really? <laughs> so the afternoon's got off to a good start. Yeah, Alfie's come on the bench and scored. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fucking has made my day, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So first some good news and I hope that continues this afternoon. Thanks, Mark. Cheers, mate.